What's up guys, it's your man Chef from Off The Dome back here for another video. You already know it. Today I'm going to be reviewing um, 6 ix 9 I'm not reviewing it, I'm just going to be discussing the billboard possibilities with 6 9 Of course the three-way tie for number one next week. It's going to be Savage by Megan Thee Stallion featuring Beyonce. That's just a four-way race. Could Doja Cat say so with Nicki Minaj? Doja Cat's about to be number one on the radio. You have Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande's new song, Stuck With You, the quarantine edition. You have Savage by Megan Stein and Beyonce, which has a decent shot of going for number one next week. But you have the overall person who should no doubt be number one next week, in my opinion, 6 ix Gooba. Now, 6 ix 9 made a post addressing Billboard saying that he already knows about chart manipulation in the past. He already had half to him with Dummy Boy with Travis Scott's Astroworld. They clearly already know what's the most popular song in the world, basically. What's the most screened, etc. You can't disagree with 6ix9ine when you have to know this is the most popular song pretty much in the world when the guy has broken every single five-day, um, I think, viewing record known in the current landscape of music. I mean, we have Katy Perry's Roar, you have Taylor Swift's Shake It Off, and um, um, Look What You Made Me Do, you have Drake's God's Plan. You have all these singles which accumulated over 50 million views or more and two to three days. The 6ix9ine is now at 170 million views. There's only been a week since the song's been out. One of the fastest growing songs to get that many views pretty much since those songs. Yummy was one of the last songs to get that many views. But Yummy, I think, took about two weeks to get that many views. So, obviously, when it comes to screaming on YouTube platforms, he's already there. When it comes to Spotify, the guy's there. They say he's more screams than majority of the artists. He outweighs them, I think, three to one. Is based on old time role, riding rich the box type effect. Digital sales, 6 ix 9 has never been a great digital gainer, but with Fifi, his biggest single, it did debut in 05 and did stay in the top 10 of digital sales for about four to five weeks. So I assume 6 ix 9s digital sales will be decent for his first or second tracking week. Now, he has no radio. And he mentioned this post, this is probably what Billboard's gonna weigh to keep from number one spot. It's true that Billboard does consider radio on demand screams and other things like that for a number one position. And by 6 9 not have radio, it could hurt him, but yet I don't think it would hurt him. And this is why I think he'll go number one because the last song debuted number one to Scott's with Travis Scott and Kid Cudi. It had a radio audience, yes, but it didn't have as huge of a radio audience as Doja Cat Say So or as The Weeknd's Buying Lights or as Touch Sly by Drake. Roddy Rich is the box was number one for multiple weeks before he became in the top ten of radio. And I think he only peaked the number six on the radio songs. So, Roddy Rich the Box was mainly just digital sales screaming for his whole run. So, in my opinion, 6 9 should get the normal spot next week, no doubt. And if he doesn't, you have to closely look at the screaming numbers, the sales numbers, to see why he didn't, or if it is some billboard manipulation. Now, we go ahead and look at uh, Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande. 35 million views on YouTube, not bad, but in a week like this, where 6 9 literally has three times the views you guys have, it looks pretty bad for Justin Bieber and Grande when they talk about YouTube screams and when they talk about Spotify screams. Digital sales, pop songs usually do more than most other genres because traditional sales still matter in pop and country. However, hip hop has seen a, a boost in sales since the quarantine, in my opinion, because Tussie Slide, I think, at 40 some thousand first week. The Scots by Travis Scott and Kid Cudi had a 65,000 first week. The Weekend's Blind and Lights had a good 30, well, Weekend, that's the pop songs. We can't count the Weekend, even though it does R&B. But I don't think Justin Bieber and Grande will get as many view, I mean, sales as they usually will get in a different time without a tour coming up or some type of big promo release for out. I think, generously, we're looking at a good 52K sales first week, in my opinion. But the screams are all taken by 6 9 and Sam's Marang and Stallion, so I don't see them getting another one spot. Unless Billboard counts the radio extra than they normally would. So 6 9 is right on that front, I think... Justin Bieber and Grande is stuck at the number three or four position. Next is Savage by Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce, which is most likely to become number one before the other two I mentioned. The remix by Beyonce is still highly praised by fans and non-fans alike. Has to increase on radio play. It's added to screen playlists daily, and YouTube views for the lyric video has went up significantly. So I think Megan Thee Stallion may have a chance in number one, except for 6 9 cock blocking her in the number one spot for Screams and the radio not been all the way there yet, this is the only reason why she won't be number one next week, in my opinion. And finally, those cats say so. I think that's a one-weeker at number one. The radio, she's about to peak there at number one. 
And it will return number one once 69 debuts number one, in my opinion. But the Nicki Minaj remix is going to get your boost for two to three weeks. And then eventually it's going to go back to being in the top five or make go back to number one down. Can you remember this song been out since, I believe, well, the song was released in January. And it's been on pop radio playing since late February. So it's three months of pop radio plays. It's finally reaching number one probably next week or the week after that. But the song is still an old song. So the remix is like um, it's like what you would do with a sales discount like you did for Sycamore with Drake and Travis Scott. Sycamore became number one due to a sales discount for one week or so, and they went to number one. Same thing with Starboy by The Weeknd. Doja Cat had the Nicki Minaj remix. It's new for now, yes, but the song has still been out for a while, and it's already had decent commercial success. Now it's a number one hit. It's not going to be one of those 12-week number one hits. It's going to be a quick maybe two or three peaking type week. So overall, now we got all the tallies in. I think 6 9 has validation. I think he's correct to assume he will be number one. Out of all metrics, screaming, some part of digital sales, no radio, of course, on demand screaming. And when we look at um, just overall, I think the only metrics are screaming, digital sales, radio play, on demand screaming. Well, yeah, I think those are three main metrics we have to measure in the first place. So in those three main metrics, other than the radio, 6 9 has two of them pretty much sold up. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Do you think 6 9 has a chance to go on number one this week? Do you think he's already clinching on one spot? Or do you think Megan Stein will come in with the upset? Or do you think Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande may get their, uh, well, would this be Justin's uh, six number one and Ariana's third or fourth? Or do you think Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj will stand number one again for a second week straight? Let me know in the comment section. This is your man, Chef from Off Dome. I'm out. Peace.